Okay, would you tell me a little bit about your game? Sure, so Darkline, Darklight is a top-down 3D survival horror game. Um, the whole idea of the game is to create a, an atmosphere of tension. So you have highly limited ammo, you only have six shots. Uh, the enemies are invisible, but you can make them visible with your flashlight. The catch is though you can't shine your flashlight and shoot at the same time. So in order to shoot you'll have to put, put away your flashlight to take the enemies out. Um, that combined with the soundscape and the artwork kind of create a really... Um, I wouldn't say it's horror, it's more of a survival, like, uneasy tension type game. Mm -hmm. um, would you tell me your favorite part of developing Dark Side? Um, probably the beginning concept. So, we based the entire game off of the mechanic of shining a light on invisible things to make them visible. And the idea of this game, including like the sci-fi flavor and the horror flavor, all kind of awesomed out of that one idea. So i just say that core, coming up with that more core mechanic and figuring out how that would work was probably my favorite part. Um, would you talk a little bit about how you got into game development? Um, so I've always been interested in video games my entire life, but it wasn't until recently that I thought that maybe I should try making them, because I've spent my whole life playing them. So, um, I joined the club last fall, actually, and um, I didn't know anything about game development, but I kind of just dove in headfirst. Um, attended uh, my first game jam, where I learned a, a whole bunch of stuff, where we made a game in 48 hours, and then I felt a lot more comfortable after that, and I've kind of been doing that ever since. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about uh, Darklight's future plans, your future plans as a game developer? So, as far as Darklight's concerned, it's it's finished and playable right now, but there are a couple things I'd like to add. Namely, I, uh, basically a cool little trick to double the length of the game. So, like, when you reach the end, I'm planning to implement a mechanic that once you, like, trigger the end state of the game, it, it activates a shader that inverts the colors of the entire world and you have to play through the entire game in reverse to finish. Uh, so that's an idea I'd like to implement. And as far as game development um, in general, um, I don't know, I would definitely love to be a game developer. I don't know if that's my main career aspiration at the moment, but I definitely plan on working uh, on side projects as I as I have a job and stuff and just kind of make my own games and see where that takes me. Well, thank you so much. Yep, thank you.